Hi everybody, it's Disney Queen Scaly, and I'm going to give you guys some fun facts about the movie The Three Caballeros. The movie and, and Saludos Amigos, filmed in 1942, were created by Disney in order to improve the United States of America's relations with South American countries during World War II. The framed cartoonist Don Rosa made several sequels to this story in printed comics, setting Jose and Panchito up as Donald's only true friends. This is one of the few stories that he worked on into his duck universe that is not part of the Barks canon. Clarence Nash also provided the voice of Donald Duck in the Spanish dubbed version, giving Donald a charming American accent that complements Jose Carioca's Brazilian and Panchito's northern Mexican ones. With the exception of Mickey's brief, brief appearance in Fantasia film in 1940, this was the first time Walt Disney attempted to combine animation with live actors since the Alice comedies in 1920s. The song You Belong to My Heart was later featured in a Disney short called Pluto's Blue Note, filmed in 1947 and eventually recorded by Bing Crosby. The Pablo the Penguin segment features a shot of a penguin diving into the water. This animation is taken from Silly Symphony Peculiar Penguins, filmed in 1934. It held its world premiere in Mexico City on December 21, 1944. In his first text story in 1943, Panchito was called Pancho el Charro. The name was never re reused. It means Pancho the Horseman. Char Charro is a Mexican term for a traditional horseman, particularly associated with specific sta states of the Federation. They are dressed in colorful clothing with, with sombreros, heavily embroidered jackets, and a tightly cut trousers. They typically perform in the char charriada, a competitive sport with some similarities to the rodeo. This film was reissued in 1977 by Buena Vista, severely edited and re-released as featurette on a bill with the 1977 re reissue of 1968's Never a Dull Moment. This was the last Disney animated feature film released during World War II. All three stars of the film have appeared in comic book stories produced in various countries. Donald Duck and Jose Carioca are very popular characters and often headline their own series. Panchito Pistoles has not fared so well. He was briefly the star of his own comic strip in 1945, but never quite caught on as a solo star. Most of his appearances in the last seven years are three Caballeros reunions and guest star appearances in various series. Panchito Pistoles is partly named after the two handguns pistols that he carries in various scenes of the film. However, Pistoles is not an actual Spanish term. The Spanish term for handguns and pistols is pistolas. The music for the title song is the Mexican folk standard Ay Jalisco No Te Rejes, Rajes. Forgive me, I am half Mexican, I'm trying my best. Panchito sings some of the original lyrics just before making his entrance and again at the end of the musical number. With its wacky attitude and red hair and distinctive beak, the Arakuan bird somewhat resembles the then contemporary version of Woody the Woodpecker. Caballero means gentleman or knight in Spanish. Along with its predecessor, Saludos Amigos, this film is considered mostly notable for its Latin American theme setting characters and some of its cast members. The film introduces the character Panchito Pistoles as a co star to Donald Duck and Jose Carioca. He is the first Disney animated feature film character to be Mexican. The Arakuan bird introduced in the film ranks among the favorite Disney characters of Warren Spector. Spector is the creator of the Epic Mickey series of video games, which focuses on classic and mostly forgotten Disney characters. There were also plans to introduce the Ar Arakuan bird to the first game of the series, but the character did not make the final cut. While the Ar Arakuan bird does not resemble any real species of bird, they, the name of the character probably derives from Portuguese Araquai and Arucuan, they are terms used in Brazil for the speckled chachalaca, or Talus guttata, a species of bird found in the Amazon basin. Though the film introduces the concept of, of Jose Carioca as a magic user, the idea has not been followed in subsequent appearances of the character. While the film never received a popular sequel, three of its featured characters, Donald Duck, Jose Carioca, and Arucuan Bird, start in the segment of Melody Time, filmed in 1948. The name Pablo used by the penguin of the film is the Spanish version of the Latin name Paulus. 
littles, or small. The English version is Paul. The segment of flying gauchito, gauch, gauchito? Gauch, gauchito was originally intended for inclusion in Saludos Amigos from the 1942. The Mexico segment specifies that the areas depicted are Apurco, Patsucaro, Patsuca, Pats, Patsucaro, and Veracruz. Acapulco is a city, Patsucaro is a town, and Veracruz, Veracruz is a federal state. I'm going to butcher this all day today. The woman Donald lusts for in the Bahia segment is played by singer Aurora Miranda, who uh, was around from 1915 to 2005. She was the younger sister of Carmen Miranda, 1909 to 1955. Aurora had a not notable singing career and appeared in a, new in a few films, though the Three Caballeros film in 1945 is the one best remembered of them. The Mexico segment involves the Three Caballeros having a ride on a flying serape. The serape is a long blanket-like shawl. The depiction in the film more resembles the concept of a flying carpet. The film never depicts or mentions Daisy Duck, Donald's main love interest since 1940. This is probably intentional. Her presence or memory would render scenes of Donald lusting after other, after other women as depictions of infidelity. The song Bandiero and Flute Sorry, Bandido and Flute was written by Bendito Lacerda and developed by Charles Wolcott. Despite its famous musical soundtrack, the film never won the Oscar for Best Musical Score. It lost to Anchors Away, in, uh, recorded in 1945, where several of the songs were performed by Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra. The Acapulco Beach scene was not, in fact, filmed on location. It was filmed in the back, of, in the back lot of Disney Studios. Features the return of Jose, or Joe, or Zay, as he is known in the original Brazilian Portuguese. Carioca, the Brazilian parrot, first featured in Saludos Amigos, filmed in 1942. In a certain scene, Donald Duck and Jose Carioca shrink in size in order to enter a book. In a later scene, they return to their proper sizes. This scene, the, the scenes are similar to Alice's changes in a size in a later Disney animated feature film, Alice in Wonderland, filmed in 1951. A certain scene of the film has been seen as homoerotic in nature. A blindfolded Donald Duck chases after various women and attempts to kiss them. He thinks he has caught one and gives her three kisses. He is actually kissing his male friend Jose Carioca. While Three Caballeros was the first appearance of Panchito Pistoles in film, it was not really the debut of the character. To help promote the upcoming film, Panchito was introduced in the Disney comics in 1943. His first appearance was the text story La Piñata, filmed in August 1943, when he then got his first starring role in the 10-page story Panchito, written in November 1943, where, his romances, where he romances Clara Cluck. The film Three Caballeros, filmed in 1945, was adapted to a 48 pages long comic book story in 1945. The adaption was written and drawn by Walt Kelly, 1913-1973. Kelly created many stories for the Disney comics, though he is mostly remembered as the creator of the comic strip Pogo. The name Panchito, used by Caballero Panchito Pistoles, is a diminutive form of the name Pancho. Pancho itself started out as a nickname for Francisco. Francisco is a Spanish and Portuguese version of Latin Franciscus. The English version of this name is Francis. Franciscus. Derivative names are popular in several countries because the name was popularized by St. Franciscus, Franciscus, Assisi, Latin for Francis of Assisi, that, 1181-1182-1226. During the final years of World War II, the character of Panchito Pistoles introduced in this film served as a minor military symbol. He was the mascot of the 201st Fighter Squadron, a Mexican fighter airplane squadron that served the assisted of the, the that served that assisted the American forces in the recapture of the Philippines. The likeness of Panchito was also painted as as nose art on an American bomber airplane, a northern a North American B-25 Mitchell. 
The original airplane was scrapped in 1949, but another B-25 Mitchell was fashioned into a replica of it, of it. With the same Panchito image, it is still civilian service and appears in air shows. The premise of the film is that it is Donald's birthday and his friends give him a tour of Latin America as a gift. The date of the birthday is given as Friday 13th, with no month specified. The later animated short Donald's Happy Birthday film in 1949 is also set on Donald's birthday and gives a date as March 13th. The film introduces the Araquian bird, a minor but memorable character. He went on to co-star with Donald Duck in Clown of the Jungle in 1947 and to appear with both Donald and Jose Carioca in the Blame It on the Samba segment of Melody Time in 1948. He has since made various appearances in comic books and television animation. The Araquian bird never actually speaks in this film. He only sings and uses various vocal effects. The voice of the Araquian bird and his distinctive song are provided by voice actor Pinto Klovig. Klovig provided the voice of several Disney characters over the years, but is mostly remembered as the voice of Goofy. Jose Carioca introduces Donald Duck to the charms as Bahia. This is actually Portuguese for Bay, the, lo the locale being introduced as, a, as the state of Bahia. The two terms are closely related but spelled differently. Bahia is one of the 26 federal states of Brazil. A scene of the film is devoted to Jose Carioca needing magic to Donald Duck in order for him to change size. Jose calls his magic methods black magic. This might not be particularly accurate. The term black magic is typically applied to the use of magic for evil, malicious, and or selfish purposes. The segment The Cold-Blooded Penguin features Pablo, a penguin who hates the cold and seeks warmth. This is very similar to the concept of Chili Willy in 1953, the debut animated film of the Penguin character Chili Willy. Some animation historians suggest that Chili Willy was conceived by Walter Lanz and the staff as their version of Pablo. Pablo the Penguin has adapted to the Disney comics, though he has made few actual appearances. In 1949, he co-starred in the story Dumbo and Pablo Penguin. His co-star being Dumbo in 1954, Pablo starred in the story Pablo the Cold-Blooded Penguin. In 1995, he was reintroduced in the Brazilian story Paulinho o Pinguim. It was followed by three sequel stories, all published in 1995. The rest of his appearances are cover arts and posters. The ethnicity of the, of the protagonist, the flying gaucho, gauchito, is depicted differently in the English and Spanish versions of the film. In the English version, the gauchito is from Uruguay. In the Spanish version, he is from Argentina. And the term gauchito from the segment of flying gauchito means little gaucho. The term gaucho refers to the horsemen and cattle herders of the South American Pampas. They serve as a national symbol in both Argentina and Uruguay, though their presence is not limited to three countries to these countries. The flying donkey of the film is simply called burrito. The term literally means little donkey, so it is, since it is the diminutive of burro, Spanish and Portuguese for the term donkey. Burrito, the character of the film, is a small donkey with bird-like wings who can fly. While the concept of the flying donkey is original to the film, it probably derives from the more common concept of a flying horse. The concept derives from Pegasus, a character from Greek mythology, and has since become a common theme in art and fiction. The Three Caballeros in 1944 is one of, the, is one of three Disney animated feature films to feature flying and ekins. In this case, a flying donkey. The other two are Fantasia, 1940, and Hercules, 1997, which feature flying horses. Since the concept of the flying gaucho, gauchito was in production long before the release of The Three Caballeros, the feature characters appeared in Disney Comics two years before the release of the film. Specifically, the flying gauchito and burrito first appear in the comic book story The Flying Gauchito, September 1942. It was drawn by Walt Kelly. The Flying Gauchito and Burrito have made a few appearances in comics since their debut in 1942, but they were never major stars. They co-starred in The Flying Gauchito in 1942, The Flying Gauchito in 1954, O Gauchino Voyador in 1995, O Dever Cumprido in 1995, and Que E O Burro, Quem E O Burro in 1995. The rest of their appearances are adaptations of the Three Caballeros covers and posters. The segment Las Posadas is Christmas themed. It depicts the Las Posadas Spanish lodge, lodgings, accommodations, a Mexican Christmas custom. It commemorates the wanderings of Mary, Mother Jesus, Mother of Jesus, during her pregnancy. 
The film depicts Donald Duck as girl crazy. He lusts after live-action women, chases after them, kisses them, and in an, an entire segment, Donald's surreal reverie, is devoted to his drunk-like reverie from the various interactions with them. This has been one of the most discussed aspects of the film since its release. This was the second appearance of Aurora Miranda in 1915-2005 in an English-speaking film, her first film, Noir Phantom Lady, 1944. Several of the songs used in the film 19, became 1940s hits when, when covered by artists like Bing Crosby and Dinah Shore. They have continued to receive covers over the years, and some are considered standards. The title song of Three Caballeros and its lyrics are original to the film. However, the melody was an adaptation. It is the melody of Ay Jalisco No Te Rajes, 1941 by Manuel Esperón. 1911 to 2011. The song Bahia and its lyrics were are original to the film. The melody, however, was an adaptation of Na Baixa do Zapaterio in 1938 by Aray Borraso, 1903 to 1964. The song Have You Been to Bahia is a new version of the Voce Ha a Bahia, 1941 by Dorvial Camille in uh, 1914 Somewhat unusually, the version used in the film contains lyrics in two languages. It retains part of the original Portuguese lyrics and translates the rest to English. It is very close in meaning to the original version, with one key change, to whom the song is addressed. The original version, the singer introduces Bahia to a nega, film, female lover. In the newer version, the term nega is replaced with this replaced the name Donald. The song Os Quindins de Yaya, ya, 1941 by Ada Borroso, 1903-1964, is used in the film with its original Portuguese lyrics. In the film, the singing of Os Quindins de Yaya, in 1941, is briefly interrupted by a man who sings a small portion of another song. The other song is Pregoyes Cariocas, 1931 by Baraguinha, 1907-2006. The song Mexico was the only song of the film to be entirely original to it. It was composed by Charles Wolcott and lyrics by Ray Gilbert. The film uses the song Lil Longo, 1938, by Felipe Gil. Gil had a number of hits from 1938 to 1942, but is otherwise an obscure figure. The song You Belong to My Heart and its lyrics are, to the, are original to the film. The melody, however, is an adaptation of Solamente Una Vez, 1941, by Augustine Lara. 1897 to 1970. The film uses the song La Sandunga, 1853, by Mah Mahimo Romo or Ramo Ortiz. The song is the only song in the film with a native of Mexican theme, since the song is about a Zapotec woman. The film uses an instrumental composition in the scene featuring Cacti. It is the polka Jesusita and Chihuahua. 1916 by Quimiro, Quirino, Mendoza, y Cortez. Unusually for a Disney film, it is a military-themed composition. The composer was a military officer of the Mexican Revolution, circa 1910 to 1920, and the song was primarily used by first military bands. While Pablo the Penguin is sailing from Antarctica to the Galapagos Islands, an instrumental composition is heard. It is appropriate to be the scene since it's Sobre las Olas, Over the Waves, 1888, by Juventino Rosas, 1868 to 1894. The film uses the song Jarabe Pateño, 1900, by Jonas Yeverino Cardenas, in 1907 to 1957. It is among the oldest songs used in the film. A 2002 episode of the television series House of Mouse, which, which focused on Panchito, revealed that Panchito Pistoles is is his pseudonym. The episode gave his actual name as Panchito Romero Miguel Junipero Francisco Quintero Gonzalez III. And finally, this was the only package film from what is often referred to as Disney's wartime era to receive any theatrical reissues. Thank you guys so much for sticking it through that whole thing. Have a great day.